lineups. Ooh. Interesting. Which would you like first, sir? Um, I think I'm going to take S triple C. Okay. From the Norse spawn, wearing green today. S triple C bringing Ohio, Yamato, Salem, Stalingrad, Des Moines, and Zaf, and Henri mm. Katrim. Daring Marceau and Kleber. We have a Mar we have an Henri sighting, Zaf. Mm -hmm. Well, we had one yesterday too. On this particular map, it went to the ten line, and it didn't and, really and it, accomplish too much. Kind of, kind of did nothing over there. I remember this. Mm -hmm. Talk so to me. Talk over to me about on, bonks. On the bonk side of things, we have an Ohio and a Yamato. We've got uh, Venezia, Salem, Des Moines, Nevsky. And then a Gearing, a Yu Yang, and a Marceau. Double French looks Destroyer. Like, hmm. Looks like uh, Bonks may not be going for the Token Force at sea. It looks actually like they might try to make that their stronger flank well, with uh, kiting away positioning at A. Yeah, I'll be curious because you normally, like, it's a very common to see Salem's go play in those islands around C, right? A Salem or a Des Moines. Salem's very common, but sometimes a Des Moines. It looks as if um, SCCC is kind of making a similar move, right? You're looking at Ohio, Salem, Des Moines. Marceau looks like he's going to try and quick cap. I'm betting that with the Nevsky radar, that's not going to happen. And you're almost looking at like a, like a little destroyer wolf pack sort of trying to work the B cap here. Bonk seemingly wanting no part of A. I mean, not anytime soon, anyway. No destroy. What, what I mean is, no, none of their destroyers are going that direction. Right, and generally speaking, guys, when we see a destroyer, we 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 that kind of signals um, for us casters the intent of the team. In game, it's typically the battleships that team see that signals the intent of the, the enemy team. Early Nevsky radar pushing fuzzballs off of the C cap. He had just barely started to tick up points. See, they see him. Nope, out of the radar range now. That's going to allow Fuzz to reverse back onto the cap, which he does at the moment. Yep. Yeah. Well, Bonk only fans has uh, is starting to get focused now. Eh, a little Before bit of chip trouble. damage. A little bit of chip damage. Now we see. Yeah, but he's got. Go ahead. He's got some other AP coming in from super long range. SCCC has opted for the 12 kilometer stationary Russian radar here, par parking Everett Stalingrad on the north by the by this island here on the north side of B. And yet I don't see the radar going out. There it is. It's just now going out. Mm -hmm. He takes a pot shot at Balbonk, but it's Cant Bonk on the bottom end of the cap that's the one that really has all the cap points saved up. Yamato shells oh. going in looking for him. I was going to say, Marin's going to take care of that with that reset. Yep. So does get a reset nice there. Nice tag team there. As now, Sinner's Nest Daring joining the party as well. He's got good island cover from the Marceau, but definitely has shots on the Yang. Mm -hmm. SCCC quick capping A, bagging C on the strength of the Marceau. Their double French destroyer just zooming out to the flanks, bagging caps, starting to take up points here in game three. Three minutes gone. And look at Yamamoto over here now challenging um, Azuki Thais and Iwunakam as Iwunakam makes Inky <laughs> so that the two of them can make their way up north. So far, though, this is clearly uh, SCCC's game. They've got both caps on the side. They stalled the B cap. Well, and got the B cap. Bonks picks up the B cap now. That is a radar yang and under for for Kent Bonk there on the bottom end of B. Mm. So ah, okay, that's what? what the smoke was for. So the Venezia smoke was so that they can get Azuki thighs up into A cap. His radar going up now, picking up Yamamoto's Kleber. Yeah, but Azuki's got a Yamato to deal with. There's one hit. 
Oof. And then Yamamoto, of course, oh, AP man. into the side. Yep. Good hits out of the Kleber AP. Azuki does He's get into the cap, though. That push, though, is costing him over half his health, however. Yes, it well, is. Well, the trick is once he's undercover, there won't, they don't have anybody who'll right. have decent shots on him. So it feels like a bad trade now, but over the long haul, it really won't be that awful. He's got right. this nice little alcove back here he can snuggle up into, push his heel button, and be okay. So they surrender some early points at A, but Bonks pushes a heavy cruiser into the A cap, gives them a bit of a stronger position. Now, meanwhile, we haven't talked about it, but Dark Angel's taking some hits as well in his Des Moines position over there. Uh, looks like Sergeant Hattie and Turret Bonk have some good good arcs on him. Well, they're pushing the Salem, they they're pushing Hattie and the Salem out to the, basically out of the 10 line. The mm -hmm. Salem, I mean, sorry, the Ohio, of course, be, is the key. The Ohio can just slap the, slap the Des Moines around through the bow. He doesn't really care. As we see that salvo going in on Dark Angel. Nothing doing. Mm hmm. As Triple C on a 130 point lead, six minutes gone. Bonk's still trying to feel yep. like they're trying to get their pieces into position. The C cap, I think, is going to be the interesting play here, Zath. Well, what's interesting is that Bonks has managed to grab both. A and B, even though it feels like their initial position was to go hard C. Agreed. Yeah. And I think I think the interesting bit about that, Zath, is that if you look at the board, I don't think S Triple C is in a position to do anything about A. And they no. don't at the moment, they don't seem interested in doing anything about B beyond just being harassing, right? Now you do have the daring and the Stalingrad around. They can make Camp Bonk's life hell, but I think I don't think they can I don't think they can win. I don't think they can. I don't think they can take this cap. Is what I'm getting at. Nice, well, you Yang torpedoes on Marin. If they could reposition Broadbonk, though, that Stalingrad could be negated really quick. Oh, Dark Angel just got hammered. That was a Yamato shot. He had backed up to where he was in that little saddle of the island, and the Yamato just dropped shells on wow. him from probably what was that? Probably about 27 clicks or so. Yeah. yeah. Just wrecked him. That to between the island well look at him he's backing yep. up into that spot again well let's see if there's another salvo here they come no that yamato salvo is going somewhere else sinner's nest that it's one's on sinner's that, nest. that one's on the daring this time it overshoots him because sinners kept reversing buzz balls coming under some heavy fire now over in ccap Burnt Bonk just chunking him with that Salem. Plus, we've got Bob Bonk only fans as Nevsky. Plus, we've got Battleship Nagato's uh, gearing. gearing. Fuzzballs and even has, Sergeant Hattie's Ohio. Fuzzballs Ooh. has been playing really, really well on Destroyer, but this might be a bit of a mistake. May cost him his ship. We haven't seen a lot of that. Looks like he does finally go dark right there. Yes, they lose sight of him. They get some more shells into oh, him, though. Big speculative hit. They're just continuing oh, to dump, continuing to dump shells into that area. He's gonna sneak away with less than a thousand hit points. Wow, and a broken engine, mind you, <laughs> and a broken heart. Because look at this push forming. His game is on over. a ten line. Look at this push forming on ten line. Peregrina saying, "Get out of my way." Yep. I got this. Well, and look oh. at Hattie. Look at Hattie coming to meet him. You want right. Hapa, you said you wanted to see if Ohio's would touch tips. You may get your wish, sir. Yeah, you just had to wait a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> Meanwhile, shots on Dark Angel. Ohio in that bronze, bronze oh, here, league camo. Here comes another Yamato salvo. Nothing. Oh, man. Is Dark Peregrine's not spotted. He's. They're not looking at him. Let's see. Oh, no, he's, see oh he's spotted all right. They know he's there. Hattie's pushing up right now. Mm hmm Archangel down to 10,000 hit points. 
Battleship Difference needs to get out of there because I guarantee you Hattie's basically, Hattie's plan is shoot the Salem, ram the Ohio. I, gu I, oh, yes. I guarantee you that's where he's where, where his head is at. Exactly what it he's is. doing. And oh, and he got oh, basically oh. nothing out of that salvo. He did. But Peregrinus fails turret to get bonk. the kill. Fails to get the kill on turret bonk as well. Fancy Salem, fancy Salem heel goes up now to try and keep him in the game. Wow. Trading battleships on the it's ten line feels bad. S triple C less than a hundred point lead as we cross the halfway mark of the game. Now here you comes battleship turret? difference. This feels like a mistake. Battleship's not angled very well. Mm -mm. Oh, he's oh he's but taking out his. Bonk wasn't ready. Yeah, I think turret wasn't ready, or he's had his turrets reset. Oh, big turret. hit! Big oh, hits right ready. there. Oh, he gets oh. him! Whoa! What a great engagement played by turret bonk! Wow. That was that play had to work, and it absolutely didn't. Bonk's up a ship now as this S triple C push down the ten line fails. Deep breath, tur deep deep breath there, turret bonk. Deep breath. You're good. <laughs> You're good. You're good, guy. It'll, it'll mostly heal back. He's got a super heal. That's right. That'll buff right out. Now I've had worse. <laughs> <laughs> it's only a flesh wound. Now, Bonks has been pushed off the B cap. The Stalin, we, we missed it, but look at Everett's position. Everett has moved way up where he's got great radar cover over, over B to the mm -hmm. point where I don't think Bonks can get back into B. However, they're about to finish farming out Dark Angel. Fuzzballs has to retreat. They'll be able to pick up C very hand. Bonks will be able to pick up C very handily here in moments. And Dark Angel going down very quickly. Yeah, he'll be yeah. off the board. It's simple. It's it's there's, like three on one. It's only a matter of time. Yep. And there's Turret Bonks's uh, super heal back up to 15k from less than a thousand. <laughs> yeah, at about 1200 HP or so. Yeah. Yeah. With Dark Angel out, that's going to free up Battleship Nagato to duck into C. As the Yamato, ooh, things are things are changing on the A line as well, gentlemen. Oh but yes, they are. Test. Marin has decided it's time to get into this cap. And so he has. Broadbonk not able to move up because Everett Stalingrad covers that angle. The Stalingrad would just uh, <laughs> probably sit it out of existence. Yep. Marin, I'm sure, intends to sail right around the corner and just punch Azuki in the face. And I don't think Azuki can stop it. I don't think, I'm not sure Bonks can stop it. Well, right now, Azuki is looking at Everett Stalingrad. Everybody's looking at Everett Stalingrad. They've, it's like they've, yeah. called, they've called Focus Fire, and he is the play. Azuki's looks like Hydro just went up. Azuki is... Azuki oh! Whoa! Angle. Oh. How did that happen? Marin finds the forward, the forward magazine cheek on Broadbonk's Yamato. That is a huge kill for S Triple C. And it allows this... for him to push oh. around. Azuki is dead now. Like, they can't salvage this ship. The Henri is going to have his flank in seconds. And with that reload booster, he will not survive. Here comes the AP from the Henri. See what I mean? Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. Jesus. One, two salvos dead. Just like, Jeez. just like that, SCCC makes up two quick kills. They are absolutely back in this game and on top over 200 points. And they've got a, a bit of a health lead as well. Indeed, Bonk's reeling from the loss of both of their battleships here in Game 3, trying to find a way to break back in. Everett clinging to life at 8,000 health. Now, I think they're going to be able to pick up B, maybe. Everett's got his radar up. They can see Can't Bonk. We know this. They do get some resets. Oh, they start to hit him real hard now. I was going to say, they're going to get more than just resets, I think. The overwhelming amount of fire. Look at, look at all the bloody shells coming in on Cant Bonk. <clears throat> they can still see him. Oh, they see him because he opened up with his guns. That feels like a mistake. I'm impressed that he survived. I am too. Initial... But, he, but he's mm -hmm. in a gunfight with a Claver at like 
eight kilometers. I don't. That's not something you want to do, man. That's not. That's not an engagement you're going to enjoy. It is costing Yamamoto some HP, but in the end, can't bonk. Still spotted. Can't believe he hasn't gone dark yet. Finally going dark there. Jeez. Sneaking away barely with barely a thousand HP. Balbonk's Marceau on to B now. But S Triple C, all how they have to do is hold. Bonks needs a kill. And I don't think they're gonna be able to get one. Battle ends in five minutes. We just have to wait. I, they don't have any ships, I think, in a position where they could get a kill. That's the at trick. This at this point, yeah. SCCC knows all they have to do is hold. They've pulled yeah. so much of their their vulnerable ships, right? Everett um, and Fuzzballs are like, well, like you know, Everett. Is, I mean, Fuzzballs just playing way Everett back. Healed. Everett healed, but he's still kind of vulnerable. Let's say. Yep. They, 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 the only hope I think Bonks has is maybe to try and farm out the Henri. But man, Balbonk OnlyFans playing a dangerous game here. There, yep. Yep, yeah, they just Mar lost it. Marin only has to connect once. 30 seconds on the timer. Bonks had fought their way back into this game. A heroic trade on the 10 line by Turret Bonk. Some real misplays from SCCC over there. And yet, mm. they may, looks like they're on track to win this game in seconds. I just don't think they can farm out the Henri fast no. enough. They can't see the only actually they've lost vision. The only ships they can see now is the Kleber and the Yamato. That's it. It's all they yep. have eyes on. And that's the game. That's gonna be it. S Triple C with a come from behind. What a game. Taking a lead in this match. Two games to one. I gotta say, after that, after that Salem, Ohio disaster on the ten line, I thought Bonks had this one. I was like, man, all they have to do is play smart. But man, S Triple C just knew where to push. They knew which pressure points to push and made it happen.